Curious about the recent events shaking the crypto world? Well, it involves the Samurai Wallet, its founders, and a tale of intrigue and arrests. Our story starts in 2015, with the inception of Samurai Wallet. The founders, CEO Keon Rodriguez and CTO William Lonergan Hill, presented their creation as a legal, privacy-minded service. However, the Department of Justice had a different perspective. According to them, Samurai Wallet was a tool used to launder illicit funds, obfuscating the origins of at least $100 million in criminal proceeds. The features of Samurai Wallet weren't your typical cryptocurrency service offerings. Rodriguez and Hill developed unique elements such as the Whirlpool, a mixer designed to muddy the origins of Bitcoin transactions. Another premium service, Ricochet, allowed users to create unnecessary intermediate transactions or hops when sending cryptocurrency from one address to another. These features, prosecutors claim, were explicitly designed to aid criminals in large-scale money laundering and sanctions evasion. As the story unfolds, we find Rodriguez due in a Pennsylvania courtroom, while Hill awaits extradition following his arrest in Portugal. Both face charges of conspiracy to commit money laundering and operate an unlicensed money-transmitting business. In a coordinated effort with Icelandic authorities, Samurai's domain and servers were seized, and a seizure warrant for its mobile application was served on the Google Play Store. But the plot thickens. According to prosecutors, Samurai didn't just offer these services, it actively courted criminals and sanctions evaders. Its marketing materials reportedly acknowledged that those most likely to use a service like Samurai included individuals engaged in criminal activities. In addition to allegedly mixing millions from dark web markets like Silk Road and Hydra, prosecutors also accused Samurai of aiding in concealing the identities of cybercriminals behind lucrative hacks. These include a web server intrusion and customer database exfiltration in 2022 that netted 151 Bitcoin, a spear phishing scheme in 2021 and 2022, targeting a cloud service provider to steal $10 million worth of cryptocurrency, and a 1,343 Bitcoin phishing attack on a decentralized finance protocol from 2021 until 2023. This recent event is part of a broader trend of law enforcement increasingly targeting infrastructure supporting the cybercrime ecosystem. For instance, a Russian-Swedish national was convicted in the U.S. in March for helping criminals launder money through the Bitcoin fog mixer. Similarly, one of the founders of the notorious Tornado Cash mixer was arrested in August 2023 and is awaiting trial. In summary, the story of Samurai Wallet is a stark reminder of the darker side of the crypto world. It highlights the importance of vigilance and due diligence in dealing with cryptocurrency services, the potential misuse of these platforms for criminal activities, and the increasing intervention by law enforcement agencies in the digital currency space. As the crypto landscape continues to evolve, so does the game of cat and mouse between regulators and those attempting to exploit the system.